any type of weakening your pelvic floor muscles from complications postpartum or if you have trauma on your pelvic floor and you're having pain during intimacy, pain with difficulty running, hiking, doing activities because of the tightness, stiffness inside. Hi, my name is Annie and welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. First and foremost, thank you for everyone who joined my seven-day series journey to challenge your strength in your core for postpartum women, perimenopausal or menopausal women. And in this video, this is a combination and a gentle program because I know it's a lot of seven days of challenges to strengthen your core. But in my upcoming Revive Pelvic Floor Health Core Rehab, we're going to start very easy. Don't worry, we're going to start proper breath work, connecting to your deep core. And if you find my seven-day series too difficult, I have the program start baby steps before we progress for eight weeks and that's why I'm here again to show you what's the beginning of my week one day one it's a lot of connecting to your pelvic floor releasing tightness so that when you progress with strength training program you're not gonna have pain difficulty and that's usually my last few weeks of my program that's why I did, I did the seven day challenge just to demonstrate to everyone that you can still do some difficult workouts but if you find it's too challenging that's why I have my revived pelvic floor health or rehab because we're gonna I'm gonna guide you safely and effectively we're gonna do some gentle movement patterns first learning how to connect your breath work and in today this is a very important video because with tightness weakness and pain it's hard to lengthen so today is going to be a little bit more different from a re regular kegels. It's a lot about reverse kegels. And with pelvic floor, it's not about just lifting and pulling up. It's actually relaxing as well because you need your pelvic floor to be more functional. Functional means a pelvic floor, especially for women, it needs to breathe. It needs to be lifted up and down like a pistol. So that's why breath work is so important with diaphragmatic breathing, which means lateral opening of your rib cage, And then your belly starts rising so your diaphragm has more space and when you do that your pelvic floor is slowly lifting from the inside and as you exhale you squeeze it from your lower abs zipping up to your navel that's when you're lifting your pelvic floor and that's crucial for your gentle postpartum healing especially for the first nine months of your pregnancy the weight of the baby pushes down your pelvic floor and we need to lift it up but not just kegels but with breath work and then gently stretching it because when you weak you get tight any muscle group especially if for example you get tight on your hamstrings if you sit a lot sitting putting pressure on your glutes and no matter how much you squat and lift if you don't stretch, you won't activate it as well. So it's the same mindset, but the difference between the pelvic floor and the bigger muscle groups is tinier, smaller, and it's very difficult for mind-body connection. That's why today in this beautiful Destin Beach, Florida, I'm here to make you relax with breath work. So let's begin the program. We're gonna start in sitting position in butterfly. Feet together, place your hands on top of your ankles. And we're gonna start with breath work first in this position. So if your knees are up higher, that's fine. You can place pillows on your buttocks for support and your pelvic floor to feel engaged. You can roll a towel, sit on it to help elevate, keeping your spine straight all the way to your neck. And we're gonna start breathing. As you inhale, lateral rib cage, belly rise and zip it up as you squeeze it. In you imagine not to be all at the same time. Breath works like a tight gist, you're zipping it up as you breathe out. And now inhale, expand. You can place your hand on your abdomen to feel the breath work. Zip it up and squeeze. Again, breathe in. Breathe out, squeeze. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. And now we're going to do some butterfly pulses. This is a gentle up and down of your knees, down to the mat and up. Gentle hip mobilization. So your hip muscles help support your pelvic floor and those tinier muscles inside, they get really tight and overburdened. And we need to slowly mobilize it gently, up and down like a butterfly wings. And we hold this in 10, Pulses, 10, 9, slow and steady, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then push your knees down to the mat and we'll do gentle circles. Slow contraction, breathing, breath, mind, body connection to your pelvic floor. Five more circles. 
with my breathwork. You can hear my breathing beautifully together with this beautiful hip mobility flow. And now let's reverse circles. Hold on tight on your ankles. Inhale and exhale. Eight more, my friends. Breathe in and breathe out. Five more. Well done. Now we're going to lift your hands up overhead. Look up to the heavens as you breathe in. And now we're going to forward fold. You can slowly fold forward towards your feet as much as you can. And hold this in five deep breaths. Breathe in. I'm here in the beautiful beach of Destin, Florida, enjoying with my family for spring break. And bend forward and exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. It's time to enjoy life with family and friends. Sail down. Beautiful work, my friends. And now we're going to extend one leg. I'm extending my left knee. So my leg is pointing, my toes is pointing away for a beautiful stretch, keeping my spine straight. I'm going to start shaking it off. So it's like I'm moving my foot like a wiper, left and right. And that's rotating to your hip joint and those tiny muscles that gets really tight as we put pressure during the nine months of pregnancy, the baby's pressing down your, your hips on your pelvic floor. You need to release it gently and they get, they get really tight fast. Back and forth, left and right as you breathe in and breathe out. Two more deep breaths while shaking it off. Last deep breath in. And I'm slowly twisting my body to the right. So my left leg is extended, placing my left hand on top of my right knee as I turn my body to the right. Looking behind my right shoulder, placing my right hand for support on my right side. As I look behind, as I continue with the shaking it off, feels so good on your hip pelvic floor muscles and your hip joint. And then twist to the left as I continue that beautiful pulsing. Feel some ticks and clicks, and that's fine. And twist again to the right. And then to the left. Last twist to the right and left. And that's crucial to release that pelvic floor. Breathe in, and as I breathe out, sit up straight as I slowly reach over, reaching on my left foot. Relaxing now. Trying my best to touch my head towards my knee. And if I can't, I can soften my left knee a little bit so I can touch my head down. And if you can't do that yet, that's fine. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, reach arms overhead. Lean on your right elbow as you lift your left hand up overhead and shake it off again. Well done. Now bend your left knee. Hug your foot closer to you and extend the opposite leg. So I'm extending my right leg. This time, toes pointing away. I'm going to start shaking it off. Feel that beautiful release and you might find one side a little bit easier or harder. So this is my easy side. So you might find the mind-body connection easier in this side. As you breathe in and breathe out, I'm slowly and shake it off again. As I said, a pelvic floor muscle doesn't have to be pushed to the limit. We just need to do some functional relaxation. As part of the function of the pelvic floor, it's not always it has to be tight. This actually needs to be released as well. And breathe out. I'm slowly twisting away, placing my left hand behind me. I'm turning my head, looking behind my left shoulder, and my right hand on top of my left knee for a deeper pull and stretch as I continue with that wiper movement of my foot. And breathe in and breathe out. And then twist to the left. I'm placing my right hand behind me, placing my left hand on top of my knee as I turn my head behind my right shoulder and breathe in and breathe out. It's nice to look at this beautiful water, so emerald green. As I exercise with you guys, I wish you could see this here. It's so lovely. And then twist again to the left. And then twist to the right. Last set, my beautiful friends. Inhale. And exhale. As I inhale, lift my left elbow up, sitting up straight to reach over my right foot and forward fold. And if I find this side tighter for me, so I'm going to slightly bend my right knee. So I'm placing my forehead down to my right knee as I breathe in and breathe out. 
It's about the pelvic floor, not just the hamstring. So we soften the knee so you can have a deeper stretch. Forward your back and your pelvic floor and your pelvic edge. For your hip internal external rotation. Beautiful work, my friends. That was a lovely stretch. Inhale, exhale, reach over your right foot and forward fold again. Breathe in and breathe out. Well done. Now we're going to do a pancake stretch. Feet apart, legs extended, keeping your spine straight. And if you find yourself slouching, then I'd rather have you sitting up straight with your knees slightly bent with a pillow on your buttocks or a roll towel. For me, I want to extend and stretch and lift arms up overhead, looking up to the heavens. I breathe in, breathe out. Hold it up, a slight position. Breathe in and breathe out and then shake it off, placing my hands on my hips and do this in three deep breaths while shaking it off. Whew. And you might find one foot a little bit slower than the other. Wake up left foot, this is my weaker side, so I need that area to be stronger, more agile and connected to my body. So when it's slower, your brain, mind-body connection to your brain, to your muscles a little bit delayed and you want that connection. Okay, my friends, now we're gonna do some hip rotation 10 times. Breathe in and breathe out. Five, four, three, two, one and then reverse 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now lift your arms up again overhead. Shake it off. Woo. And now reach on one foot. I'm reaching on my left foot first, forward fold. And then switch to the right as I breathe in and breathe out. Five more. Five. Left and right. Four. Three. Woo. Beautiful work, my friends. Alternating quick stretch. Two. Last one, my friends, and one. And now we're gonna forward pull to a pancake stretch, reaching down in the center. And you find, oh, I could feel it on my inner side of my hamstrings. I'm gonna soften my knees a little bit so I could forward fold better. Breathe in and breathe out. Whew. Slowly sit up straight, reach up to the heavens as you breathe in and breathe out. So these are some simple ways Five simple ways to connect to your pelvic floor, shaking it off, releasing the tightness for a deeper mind-body connection. And the last exercise is feet together for forward fold. So with your feet together, we're gonna shake it off as well. If you notice, we're shaking it off, releasing tension in a full range of motion. One-sided, starting in a butterfly position, single leg forward fold, pancake, and even a forward fold position because your pelvic floor needs to be versatile and in different positions because as a mother, right, in the forward fold position, keep shaking it off and reach up to the heavens and forward fold. And hold this in three beautiful deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. And then you can soften your knees so you can further bend forward to release your spine slowly. As long as you don't hurt your back, you don't want to force your spine. It's not about how much you can bend forward. It's about what feels right. Because most postpartum women have back pain and tension in their spine. And then extend again. Last deep breath and then forward folding one more time. And three deep breaths, expand your rib cage. Don't forget, zip it up like a tight jean. And roll up, and that's it. I'm hoping you enjoyed my lovely deep connection, mind body awareness with proper breath work, releasing tension with simple hip mobilizations that you can do to relieve 
pelvic floor pain, tightness, and stiffness, and to strengthen it in a lengthened position. If you love this video and want to learn more about Pilates Yoga Physical Therapy, please subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell so you won't miss anything. Like and share this video. Every like you're giving to my channel, you are supporting me. And if you want to still join my Revive Pelvic Floor Health Core Rehab, I'll be closing the card tonight for registration. If you want to be part of this, to be active and strong for summer 2024, don't miss out because this eight weeks you'll be transformed. Finally find the solutions to be running wild and free without worrying about a leak on your bladder. And to be pain-free, Click the link on my bio or my description, write your name and email address. If you have more time today, watch this video about proper breath work. And if you don't want to miss out the seven day journey series that I just launched and finished this until my next video training, always remember, be safe, be well, and healthy you. Bye.